Hello everybody, uh, myself Saurabh Bhag and this time uh, I am introducing the another new uh, a MOOCs course that is finite element modeling of welding processes. And uh, I am from IIT Guwahati mechanical engineering department and uh, specifically I belongs to this category of the manufacturing processes and to some extent materials also. So, I taught several subjects uh, related to this materials and manufacturing processes for example, solidification processing, advanced welding processing also and by research interest mostly rely on this finite element modeling of the uh, welding processes and particularly uh, several applications or different types of the welding processes is my interest. But apart from that, uh, some interest lie on the basically fundamental understanding of the manufacturing processes and development of the new process with the knowledge of the fundamentals in particular to any kind of manufacturing process. That is my aim uh, or maybe uh, that is I uh, normally prefer to teach or maybe uh, we can say that particular direction I my research is oriented. So, uh, this finite element of modeling of welding processes is basically oriented the subject in say um, particular direction only. I will stick with the mathematical tool as a finite element method and using this tool I will try to explain the how different uh, finite element model can be done at different aspects of the welding processes both solid state welding processes and fusion welding processes. Specifically I can say that material flow, heat transfer analysis, that um, droplet transfer uh, in case of the if welding process is associated with some kind of the um, um, material deposition process. So, all these different aspects we will try to understand, we will try to explain that how we can develop certain model, but of course, the course is designed in such a way that it I will try to present all these phenomena and uh, this modeling approaches in a very simple way such that wide uh, variety of audience will be able to understand this different modeling approaches and it is, it is known to us also that there are different educational background and the different education system people will be able to attend this course such that they will be able to learn the subject in a very simplified way and that is the objective of this course. And of course, you know the NPTEL is a such kind of the pl platform, their wide variety of audience may be we can associate it with that and maybe they find some interest on a particular subject and that subject is we will try to always present in that very simplified way. But apart from that not only that understanding of the subject, some assignment is also associated with this teaching during the teaching uh, process, it is a kind of teaching learning process in other way we can say. So, some assignments will be there always and so assignment will try to make you understand that how uh, this problem can be solved in the practical problem can be solved or some gain some knowledge to um, handle different kind of the problems, uh, definitely it will be associated with the welding processes. And other part of this course is that main features of this course is that we will try to demonstrate the finite element modeling of uh, welding processes using some standard commercial software, but that will be the basic intended will some basic layout of this using this software we will try to present this thing such that that wide variety of uh, audience who is not having much uh, background about uh, finite element method. So, they will try to learn something uh, from this demonstration of the kind of finite element based software. So, I hope uh, this uh, course will be attractive to the beginners, to the learners um, as well as the experienced people at the same time, these pe people having working in the industry, they may also try to learn this subject um, because I will start from the very basic fundamental of uh, finite element model to the very advanced level, what are the different modeling approach at the same time, uses of the different kind of the standard commercial software to develop the welding process. So, that is the basic aim of this course. Now, if you look into the modules uh, this subject I made it uh, there are 9 modules. First module is uh, explain that introduction to welding processes definitely we will try to understand the different welding processes and specifically in the front of the physical mechanism or physical processes is involved in the welding processes and associated with the different welding techniques. Until and unless we do not understand the physical process involved, then it will be very difficult to develop the model. So, that is why I put the uh, arrange the module 1 in that way. Second is the fundamentals of finite element method, 
we will try to basic uh, the fundamentals of finite element method, but this is not like a uh, course purely um, dedicated to finite element method, not like that. We will try to look into very simple for example, we will pick up some brick elements and from this uh, particular element and using some uh, this elements what way we can develop either 2D or 3D models in case of welding processes. Then definitely heat source is important in welding process because what are we interacting the heat source of what we can represent the different heat sources that means laser, arc, hybrid, solid state welding processes that will try to explain uh, in the module 3. Then application of FEM to model the welding processes. So, actually model the welding processes when you try to look into that and they it will automatically come to the different aspects of the welding processes. For example, some welding processes associated with the material flow, some welding processes associated with only heat transfer in some cases it can be associated with distortion residual stress all we try to explain that in general what a we can make a one FEM st uh, the structure of an FEM model associated with kind of the oiling process that will be tried to explain at uh, point uh, module 4. Then we will be very specific in the several modules for example, module 5 that fluid flow analysis uh, may be using finite element method and it pertinent to the oiling process. It may be the uh, or what we can simplify it because fluid flow itself is a very complex phenomena. So, what we can simplify it, this fluid flow thing and that can be applied to the oiling process that will try to explain in module 5 and uh, module 6 is purely associated to the elastic stress strain analysis of the welding processes, you can say the thermomechanical analysis model will be explained in module 6, then module 7, finite element model of the metal transport in welding process that is most important because nowadays this metal transport is significant if you trying to develop some kind of the additive manufacturing technology. So, that is why we will explain this part also in associated with the gas metal arc welding process. Then module 8 is a very specific to the ultra short then model of the non polar heat conduction because this uh, non polar heat contraction is with the aim to apply for the ultra short pulse laser processing. Maybe ultra short pulse laser uh, welding will try to explain in that perspective uh, with the application of the non polar heat conduction that will explain in module 8. And finally, FE model the approaches, what are difficulties, and all this try to explain in module 9 that is associated with the additive manufacturing processes. So, these are the broadly I have divided these uh, 9 modules and uh, the objective is to uh, all these modules to try to start working with the very fundamental to the application level of the finite element processes and of course, pertinent to the oiling processes. If you look into individual topics, these are the several topics we can cover in this course. One is that for example, classification basics of the oiling processes, net elastic stress strain analysis, how what we can material non relate incorporate, heat conduction, fluid flow analysis and what is the structure, what are the different uh, uh, steps in the FE model and know uh, some knowledge about the different FE solver also. We will explain all these things to understand the overall idea for the application of the finite element method in the welding processes. So, that will broadly and of course, to do that there are several sub elements are also there. Now, how specifically the modeling approaches will be different the different components for example, laser electron beam and resistance power tooling all these cases may be modeling approach can be different looking into the process itself. And of course, solid state oiling process will try to cover FSW, hybrid FSW processes, then a demonstration of thermal mod, thermal as well as stress analysis model using the commercial software that is always there. And then in the stress analysis model, we will try to look the hardening rule, yield criteria, uh, how what we can predict the residual stress mm, and solution strategy, what we can incorporate the phase transformation effect in the uh, stress analysis model, all we will try to discuss among within this module also. And finally, the fundamentals of wire additive manufacturing processes and what are the different modeling approaches of additive manufacturing process dilute try to cover and then what we can formulate these things, different strategy you can follow and how this is different from the actual oiling processes that we will try to explain and also at the same time ultra short pass laser oiling processes. Uh, we will try to explain with that, that what you can apply the knowledge of your finite element in this particular application. And reference talking about this thing, there are several references I have uh, mentioning here. Uh, for example, the we mainly associated with the manufacturing processes, but because it is oiling manufacturing processes, mean you have to understand the different oiling processes from this thing. And apart from that, some fundamental finite element book also you can follow. And then apart from that, computational oiling mechanics, what are different strategy uh, issues associated with the uh, modeling approaches that we can see from this computational oiling mechanics. 
and apart from that some advanced oiling processes also you can follow to understand the oiling processes and what we can model this oiling processes that. So, looking into all this aspect uh, this thing we have chosen the there are 9 reference book you can follow all this reference book to better understanding of this process apart from this lecture slides. Thank you very much for your kind attention.